Have you been having trouble trying to airdrop something to your iMac or MacBook Pro? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve that problem. Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. And I'm also gonna have a lot of useful links in the description down below. All right, so I personally have been having a lot of issues with my iMac since it is a little bit older. I believe it's like 2015 or 2016. And whenever I try and airdrop stuff from my iPhone, for example, or even from my MacBook to my iMac, they don't seem to find the iMac for some reason. And I played around with all the settings, I did a bunch of things and it just doesn't pop up, but I finally figured it out, figured out what the issue was. And yes, there are certain settings that you obviously need to have set up properly for the airdrop to work, but there's also something that I was missing that even if you do have all the correct settings, sometimes the airdrop will still not work and your iMac or MacBook will not show up. All right, I'm gonna break that down for you in this video. Let's jump right in. All right, so the problem I was having is that, you know, for example, when I'm trying to transfer maybe pictures or videos over from my iPhone to my iMac, so for example, I would select a picture, I would hit share and airdrop, and as you can see, it says no people found. All right, so let's jump into the iMac now, and I'm gonna tell you what settings you need to have enabled in order for the airdrop to work, and then I'm also gonna let you know what I finally did that fixed the issue. All right, so here we are on the desktop. All right, so first thing is first, let's get the basics down. So you need to make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi connection as the other device that you're gonna be airdropping from. Okay, so that's number one, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Number two is make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled. All right, now that we have those two basic settings out of the way, let's go into some other stuff. So you're gonna go to the Apple logo up here on your iMac or MacBook, you're gonna to go to system preferences. Here in system preferences, you're gonna to go to security and privacy. Okay, you're gonna log in and by putting in your password, you're, you're gonna go over towards this firewall and you're gonna to go to firewall options and make sure that block all incoming connections is disabled. Okay, so that's another setting that you wanna make sure that uh, you have right. And then another cool thing that you may wanna do, which I did and it and, and uh, I actually enjoy very much is uh, I, I have the airdrop feature up here on the taskbar so I can always just easily click on it and, and make sure that airdrop is enabled and everyone is selected so that anyone can transfer things to my airdrop. Okay, and how we do this is here in system preferences, you're gonna go to dock and menu bar, okay, and then select airdrop and then here uh, select the check mark on show in menu bar. That way your airdrop will always be up here in the menu bar as well for easy access. All right, these are all the basic settings that you need to have uh, configured so that you can airdrop to and from your iMac, MacBook, or iPhone. Even though I had all these settings configured correctly, when I would try and find the iMac from my iPhone, it would not show up. It would just continue to say no people are found. But I did find the reason why. So the reason why is that sometimes when you leave your iMac or MacBook on for a very long time, the airdrop will just start malfunctioning. For example, this iMac, there's times where I, where I don't go up here and shut it off uh, by hitting shutdown probably for like a week or more. So when that happens, it messes with the airdrop and it's not gonna work properly. So what fixed it was I just went over here, I hit restart, I restarted the iMac and when it booted back up, I went back up here, I made sure that airdrop was enabled, everyone is selected. And now when I would try and transfer stuff, it started popping up again, okay? So it started saying users iMac and it started working. Okay, so if your airdrop isn't working and you have all the settings correct, just try that. Try doing a restart on your iMac or MacBook Pro and that should fix the problem. All right, everyone, good luck. That is it for this video. If this video helps you out, please let me know in the comments down below and give it a like. It really helps me out. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace.